So this would be eating off trail. And the finished product. All right, I really, really wish that I could take all of the fresh food that I eat off trail, on trail with me. Um, I'll do it for overnights sometimes, but mostly um, can't do it. So for my Jersey trip, here's what I'm gonna be eating. And we'll start off with breakfast. Really, really simple. If you remember on the New York trip, I really started to like hate my oatmeal and then I started gagging on it and then I just I just didn't eat it. I sustained myself on um, granola bars that I had packed as well. So this time around we're eating instant grits. This is the red eye gravy and country ham kind. I figured that would be a really good thing um, to have in the morning in place of oatmeal. And it's it's not as heavy as oatmeal either. So I've got a little bit of weight savings. And of course, coffee. Um, instant packets. This is the Starbucks Instant uh, Via packet. It's decaf because that's what I am. And it's Italian roast, so it's nice and dark. Um, it doesn't taste like most decafs do. It's got a little bit more flavor to it. And I have a hazelnut coffee creamer powder that I will add to it as well. Um, and that's all I'm eating for breakfast. And then once I get on trail after I pack up and get ISIS going and everything like that, I have smoothies again. I had these in New York. They were the best thing ever. I don't do a lot of sweets when I'm on trail, um, but I do do little things here and there and the smoothies was one of them. Plus it gets me that fruit that I like. So I found these at the local grocery store. It's called Fuel for Fire. It's 10 grams of protein. This is strawberry banana. And then I have a mixed berry as well and a tropical one, which is like pineapples and mangoes and things like that. So I'll have one for each day. Um, I am packing for seven days. I'm anticipating it to be less. Um, but then again, I thought New York was going to be a certain amount of time and I ended up down there for nine days. So we'll see what happens. Along with the smoothies for second breakfast, so to speak, I have protein cookies as well. I found these at REI. They're the Monk Pack cookies. They have 16 grams of protein. That should keep me going until lunch. This one is peanut butter chocolate chip, which I'm sure will melt and be extra messy. And then there's snickerdoodle as well. I've got three each of those, and then I needed one more. So I found a Lenny and Larry's, the complete cookie. This is also snickerdoodle. It's one of my favorites. Um, this is really good. It's plant-based. It's got... Um, 16 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber. So that should last me until lunchtime. Lunch is a lot different this time around. I used to, you know, have a pack of tuna or have a pack of salmon or, you know, I didn't do spam because I just think spam is gross. It's never really tasted right to me. Um, and then the salmon and the tuna kind of went the same way the spam did. So... I'm going to save myself some weight and just have snacks for lunch. Um, whenever I feel like it or, you know, if I'm stopped, I can, you know, sit and have a little something to eat. I have a lot of like jerky kind of snacks for lunch, which should be good. I've got a couple of Tanka buffalo meat bars. Then I have um, Patagonia Provisions makes a venison sausage that um, I'm going to have as well. And then I found some venison strips at my local grocery store. Um, and Isis will be probably eating those as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also for kind of snack lunch, I have moon cheese. If you haven't tried these, you need to, especially if you're a cheese person. Um, it's basically freeze-dried cheese. This one is white cheddar and black pepper, and this one is Gouda. Uh, they've got 11 grams of protein, 25% of your daily calcium. They are gluten-free as well. 
um, calories, like 170 in these, um, up to 350 if you eat the whole bag of these. I have um, air dried beef chips in various flavors. This one is the original. I've got Southwestern Fair Day, and then I've got a rosemary and citrus. Isis will not have this one. She's allergic to rosemary. Um, so that one's all mine. Because <laughs> inevitably, I'm going to end up sharing my food with her. I know I am. Um, also, in the middle of the day, for snack lunch or walking lunch or whatever you want to call it, I will have um, electrolyte powder as well to add to my water because who wants to just drink boring water while you're on the trail? So I have Ultima Replenisher is what I found. This is an electrolyte drink mix. It's gluten-free. It has um, no sugar in it. It is plant-based. This one is lemonade. I have raspberry. I have um, cherry pomegranate and I have grape. You know, they're good to have. So I'll have electrolytes throughout the day. Um, I'm not carrying a big thing of nuts or um, any kind of gorp or anything like that. I'm not even doing granola bars this time because I'm just tired of them. So I found Bobby Sue's nuts. These sounded really good to me. Nuts over olives. A savory Mediterranean sensation. Almonds, cashews, pecans, and olives in here. Um, they're kind of like dried olives. I bought two packs and I've already eaten one. So I've been waiting to have this one. Um, non-GMO, gluten-free, good stuff. Um, and it gives you that kind of salt that you need on the trail as well as you're walking. And I have two of these a day as well. This is the Honey Stinger Organic Energy Gel. So I'll have two of those for each day. And if that's not enough, I have my only little um, candy kind of item. Jelly Belly Sours. Sour jelly beans. This should be really good. It's got sour apple, sour cherry, sour lemon, sour orange, and sour grape. Um, and those should get me up any big hills that I need. And when I'm not eating, I have gum to chew. I, I took my REI dividend, basically, and I bought a bunch of food. That's what I do every year for these trips. Um, so thanks, REI. It's good to be a member. And this is just a pack of gum that I found. It's, again, lightweight. There are 12 pieces in here, so that's more than enough for my trip. Um, it's all natural, and, you know, the packaging is light, and it's not a terrible amount of packaging either. That covers during the day. Oh, and pack of peanut butter. Always have some peanut butter, you know? Um, Skippy's Natural. This is one of those squeeze pouches, which I'm so glad they invented these because, you know, carrying around a big jar of peanut butter, it's cumbersome and um, it's also heavy. So, um, you know, kind of squish this up to mix it and then you can just squeeze it right into your mouth and there's your peanut butter. Um, that might actually be more lunch than anything else that I'm taking. So, that brings me to when I get to camp at night and I really need a good hot meal. Now, over on this side of me, I have a bunch of my freeze-dried meals. I've eaten everything from Mountain House to Good To Go, which are these, and um, everything in between. I've done Alpine Air, I've done all kinds. I really have fallen in love with Heather's Choice. This is a, a small batch company out of Anchorage, Alaska. And she makes some really, really good stuff. I fell in love with the bison chili um, on, what was it, West Mountain in New York. And um, it was that really cold and rainy. We had walked straight through the rain all day and I kind of dove in my tent and um, I really needed something, and the bison chili was there for me. So it is coming with me again. Um, 
Not that I'm wishing for another rainy day, but I'm sure it'll be good in some other weather too. This one has 44 grams of protein, 520 calories. So that's more than enough to replenish um, what I used up during the day. I also have mom's spaghetti with beef marinara. Uh, of course, everything is not as accessible as that one. This one has 610 calories. So that one will be good as well. Grass-fed um, shepherd's pie. I'm really excited about this one. Almost more excited than the bison chili because I like a good shepherd's pie. This one has 38 grams of protein and 510 calories. So that one will be good. Uh, her chicken mole with rice. 530 calories and um, the smoked sockeye salmon chowder. I had this in New York again as well. And uh, we're gonna go again with that, 460 calories. Um, two other meals, I do like good to go as well. So I've set aside the smoked three bean chili. A um, lot less calories in these, 340 calories in this one. So if I'm looking for a light dinner, I might have that. And the New England corn chowder. This one has only 330 calories. Um, all of those are single serves too. I can't eat all of the two serving meals and that's just a waste of food to me. So I take a lot of like the single servings and they do just fine. And obviously they have plenty of calories in them too. So there's all of that. And for dessert, I have Heather's Choice Packaroons. There's her take on macaroons. This one is blueberry and almond. And then I have a lemon lavender as well to choose from. So that's enough for like a dessert each night. Again, packed for seven days. Don't think I'm gonna need all seven days, but you never know. I said that about New York and I was there for nine. So that I think covers all of my food. So that's what I'm taking, that's it. Oh, and a thing of hot sauce. I'm not saying that it's gonna go for breakfast, but it could, you know, it just gives a little bit more taste to some of these meals. I'm not gonna be putting it on the cookies or anything like that, but again, you never know. Um, stranger things have happened on a long distance hike. So that is my food and that should do it for me. Now, what about the dog? Well, I like to keep Isis pretty, you know, used to her regular routine. Um, so I'm not changing her food terribly too much as well. She eats a little thing of wet food in the morning and I'm really crazily thinking about taking this stuff with me. Um, wellness Complete Health, Health, she does the petite entrees. This is a roast lamb, peas, and white sweet potato that she eats in the morning. Well, more towards afternoon, but we're, we're working on that. Uh, so I will probably pack some of these. They're not terribly heavy, but well, they're about the size, the weight of a tuna packet. We'll say that. Um, and then I'm debating on her kibble. She eats uh, Taste of the Wild off trail. This is uh, the High Prairies version with roasted bison and roasted venison. She eats better than me sometimes. Um, kibble is the heaviest. And I usually pack a small Ziploc bag full of kibble because again, much like me, when we get on trail, it takes her a while to acclimate. And I'm thinking with the length of Jersey, she might acclimate about the time that we're getting off trail. So she kind of will sustain herself on probably the wet food and treats. Now she's welcome to most of the beef you know, the dried beef stuff that I have. And um, I also have for her um, these beef sausages. It's uh, Etta says beef deli sausage meat treats for dogs. Um, 
95% meat, it's human grade. Um, she likes them. And there's two in a pack. See, they look just like sausages. So I've got three right now. I've got to get like four more. Um, so I'll pick up a few more of those for her. Um, but that won't sustain her either. Uh, she loves these too. Newman's own beef jerky treats. Original recipe, grass-fed beef. She can't get enough of them. This is the big bag, the value size. I'm hoping that one of these will do for the time that we're in Jersey. And then maybe I'll have another one of these in the car for, you know, the ride down and the ride home. Um, I'm hoping that's enough. We'll see. I will also have Slim Jims. My, my lovely Slim Jims that on the New York trip, she ate most of them. I got maybe five of them. So we'll have those as well. Um, pretty much she eats junk food on these trips because she just doesn't acclimate like I do. But she does just fine either way. She will not starve, you know. Um, and that is it for food, you know. I, I just have learned over the years that, you know, I can pack for supposed hiker hunger all I want and my body is just not gonna wanna eat for like the first day and a half. So why carry all that weight um, on food that is just gonna be carried throughout the trip and then end up back in my cabinet when I get home? So this is what I think will work for me. And, you know, we're, we're gonna see how it goes. There's going to be other opportunities. There's going to be trail magic. There's there's going to be, you know, I might take a side trip off trail to a deli or something like that. You never know. So um, everything is kind of changeable. But I need that basic seven days because inevitably, even though I say it's going to be shorter, it's going to be seven days um, of food in my pack, you know, so that I know that we can get through this. Hiker hunger will never kick in on this trip. It barely kicked in on my two-week section hike on the long trail. You know, everybody keeps talking about hiker hunger and hiker hunger this and hiker hunger that. No, it takes months to develop that. Hiker hunger is when you're eating so much and you're just not replacing the work that you put your body through. So it's like you're eating and you're just hungry and, and all the time hungry. Like you can finish one of these and still be hungry. Um, that is hiker hunger. You know, the rest of it is just, oh, you put your body through a workout and you're hungry at the end of the day. So that is my lecture on hiker hunger. You download the TED Talk. Um, so let's talk about Jersey. In about three weeks, I'll be heading down to Delaware Water Gap where my um, hotel is room is reserved and I will more than likely put out a video the night that I get down there just to kind of say you know this was the trip hey I made it um, and then you won't hear from me for about a week because again I'm planning for a week I'm hoping it'll be shorter but we'll see so I'll get down there I'll put out a video saying hey we're getting ready to go and then I will get the shuttle the next day up to the state line trail um, with the border of New York and New Jersey, where I started last year. And we'll head south back to my car, um, hopefully still at the hotel in um, Delaware Water Gap. And I'll be filming throughout the whole thing, but I will not be publishing videos. Those will come after. I will video during the day and I will edit at night and then I will just file it away um, until I can upload it when I get home with the strong Wi-Fi that I have here at the house. Um, it's just easier that way and I don't have to worry about putting out a video every day and you know this, that, and the other thing and it'll be what it is. So I want to get down there and I want to enjoy this trip because again, I'm saying I'm packing for seven days and I'm saying it's going to take me less 
So I might slow down a little bit and I, and I really want to enjoy myself and I don't want to push Isis the way she got pushed in New York. I want her to just have a nice little walk each day. Um, I'm not setting any mileage. I'm not planning out, you know, I'm going to walk to here on the first day and I'm going to walk to here on the second day. I'm going to get on trail. I'm going to see how we feel. Um, I'm going to at least get to the first shelter on the first day and then I'm going to see how it goes. You know, some days might be longer, some days might be shorter, but it's going to be a good trip and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. Um, between now and when I leave, I think I can squeeze in one more hike. I've got a bunch of stuff going on that I have to kind of take care of before I leave. Uh, so I'm just kind of wrapping things up around here, making sure that, you know, like I've got somebody coming to, to look, at, look after things, to water my garden, to, you know, make sure that my flowers don't die off on me while I'm away. And um, just getting things settled. And if I have that time for that one more hike, then I'll take it. It might just be a local hike around here. Um, and if I have anything more to say about New Jersey, I'll be sure to pull out my uh, video camera and I will be sure to let you know about it. So if you have any questions about the food that I'm eating, feel free to ask and uh, I'll do my best to answer you. But in the meantime, happy hiking and I will see you on the trail.